guitars.com and this is Brett and Ed. Hello, hello, hello. And we have some artist guitars here from Ibanez and yes. they are probably, they may be my two favorite Ibanez guitars in the arsenal at this point and a uh, little biased because Andy's from uh, Evansville. Yes he is. Yes, Evansville he is. land and Nita's been here a couple yeah, times so yeah. pretty excited to have this model out of it. Uh, uh, whatever I'm trying to say, finally we waited a long time for Anita's guitar. As soon as we heard about it, we said yes. And then some time passed. And uh, sometimes, like, you know, it's not always great to be the first guy on the list because then they was the original list. And yeah. then, you know. So, in order to not bore them with any more of our banter, yeah. <clears throat> let's get into these babies. So, I have the Andy Timmons AT10. This is the um, AT10P, I should say. I was reminded by what it says on the back. It says AT10P, sorry. But we go by AT10 because this is really the one we always get. So this is the, um, this is the I would I want to say, an affordable one. It's not the highest end one, is it? No. There's the AT100? That's correct. Correct. I thought I was correct. Anyway, so this is the Andy Timmons and this is the? This is Nita Strauss's signature model guitar. It is called the Jiva. And it is modeled on the S series guitars that Ivan has been making for a very, very long time. Uh, it is a very unique body style. This thing is very, very thin and sleek and lightweight and supremely playable and well balanced. But it doesn't, the thinness doesn't make it feel weird when you're holding it on a strap, I, I don't no, think. No. A lot of people worry about that, like the, the lack of thickness yeah, no, it's, hurts it. It feels great. This is a really, really great guitar. Um, and it has all kinds of great things going for it. You know, of course, the double locking tremolo system that allows you to just be as aggressive as you want to. H2. Five-way blade switch that really gets you some really good, clean, funky sounds. Could. You know, it could. It could. could. Uh, these are the uh, pandemonium humbucking pickups, and they're very, very high output. And it's got the unique inlay of the fretboard. And uh, this is a three-piece neck with purple heart in the middle here. So yeah. it's a really lovely guitar, very playable, and, and so the the center pickup is a true velvet, right? Yeah, is that right. That's right. That's right. Also by Demarzio. Yes. And it allows you to get these really quaint, you know. I mean, I love these. Uh... And here's a true velvet by itself. Fun. Velvety, right? It's very velvety. <laughs> it's even got some like binding slash purfling. Cool. And I didn't even notice that. I knew it There's had something. There's a lot but... of cool details with this guitar. It really is, you know. And uh, the, the, you know, this is one of those guitars that, that when you get it in your hands, you start playing it, it's very, very playable. Yeah. yeah, it does what it's supposed to do. You know, Strauss is a really versatile guitar player, and you know, of course, with the. <laughs> Her video's crazy, man. You yeah. watch, <clears throat> it's like it's the new video, and it's like some intense playing in that thing. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, Enough about that one. It has, it has a, obviously a quilt maple top, correct? Yes, yes, yes indeed. And, and uh, space blonde burst. Whew, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Very nice, very nice. So I have the Andy Timmons. This one's been around a while, but it's, it's, a, it's, it's that special guitar that's got, you know, it's an Ibanez, but it doesn't have the crazy thin neck. 
You know, it's, it's substantial, feels good. Um, this has the cruiser pickups in it, correct? Indeed. And uh, is the, the bridge is the Andy Timmons pickup, right? That's yeah. correct. The AT1, I believe, or something like that. We'll get our facts straight one of these days when we <laughs> act our age. But the, the, one of the cool things that Andy does that, that's cool, that, that he actually let me play his guitar that he's had since like 94 or whatever. He was like, yeah, you, we were, he was here doing a clinic. But the cool thing is you got volume and two tone knobs. This, volume, this tone knob is just for the neck pickup. So this one, you know, adjusts these two pickups whenever you have those addressed with your five-way blade. But um, it's cool because, you know, there's a lot of times when you've got a, a single tone knob that you don't want that same tone. And, and Andy flips, you know, it was, since his, a lot of his songs are instrumentals, he's got to go between tones real quick, you know, and it's not just a pedal switch. You've got to change the pickup. So if you want to have your, you know, your tone all the way up in your bridge pickup and you want to have a little bit of, you know, high end rolled off in your neck pickup when you go up into maybe a bluesier thing or whatever, you can do it, mm -hmm. you know, and it's boom. You, you don't have to do this and then tinker, tinker about. You just go. And it's, that's, that's cool to me. That, the little functionality handy dandy things, handy andy things, that was dumb. You can delete that. But anyway, this is a, this is a, the maple neck on this, we've had a hundred of these things go through the store and they all feel amazing. I love the satin finish, you know, it's, it makes it to where you can cruise along the neck. At, at oh, the nice. Brisk speed. <laughs> you so. know, speaking of the cruise pickups, um, just yesterday I did a Facebook uh, demonstration of this guitar with a really cool tube combo. Um, what I had done is I rolled off the volume 50% of the neck position pickup, which is a great, great tone, you know, and then when you introduce full power, then it hit the front of the amplifier just mm. right. Let's try that. Yeah. So here's 50. Were you on a clean channel? I was on somewhere. Oh, so on. what you got in channel? Two? Yeah. I'm on. I've got the uh, eight, uh, the at symbol pedal here, and uh, the JHS Andy Timmons pedal. So I was trying to change the channel on the Mesa pedal on the the foot switcher for the triple crown, but I will go back to this. So were you clean or dirty? Channel two would be the best approximation. I was going for like a mid gain type of thing. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> Roll it up to 100%. Yeah, it, it gives it the bone, the meat that it needs on that bone. Yeah. It cuts through, like you, you know, you can be. I can see you playing like this, and when it gets gritty, it gives it that top yeah. brilliance, you know, that shimmer. Mm -hmm. I love it. And that's cool, and that's all in this little pickup right here. It's cool, man. Yes. Good, good, good thinking. But the, that, you know, that's the cool. Listen to this. So you got. Uh, Get that tone knob. Being dedicated to that one pickup is really cool. Yeah, Cause then I'm not, I'm not messing this up, you know, this. <laughs> and just like that, I am back here. Love it, man. It's good stuff, yeah. Andy. Good job, little buddy. <laughs> but anyway, so these are the artist guitars that we have chosen to put forth in front of you today. And uh, I'm going to let Ed do some metal funnery with this little guy here because that's fun to listen to. So uh, before he gets crazy, <clears throat> moreguitars.com. You can call, you can chat, you can email, you can do all those fun things. Um, you can put some comments in here. 
You can tell us if we were good, we were bad. We'll, we'll try to fix it if we aren't that good. But um, hopefully we gave you enough info on this to, to kind of uh, have, you know, have some fun. Maybe go try these out. Order one from us. You can try it out. No risk. Um, it's at uh, moreguitars.com. Thank you very much for stopping in. <laughs>